Well, my programmer came in for the uh, Xilinx chips, and I was able to reflash the uh, 8 meg RAM expansion with the newer code, and it looks like everything is working good. So far, I've restarted this test. I was, uh, I've been running it throughout the evening as I mess with stuff, but uh, so far, so good. It's my, uh, it's my first experience using any kind of Xilinx type of thing. I've used microchip at work, and I wasn't sure exactly how this was going to go, but actually it's extremely easy with this, uh, with their software and uh, hooking it up and everything. The one thing that threw me was the, uh, with the microchip, you can power from the programmer itself to where this one, I didn't see that you could do that, so I had to run, you know, five volts. But, you know, that's no big deal. And it programmed really quick. It was pretty straightforward, so I'm kind of happy about that. So uh, I've been running this. Let me, uh, let me switch out of that. Oh. <clears throat> I'll boot into sysinfo. Notice it actually did increase my speed a little bit. Fast RAM. And half meg of chip RAM. Speed test. And it did bump the speed up a little bit, having the extra fast RAM, so that's always nice. And uh, so far, there's been no errors or anything like that, so I'm pretty happy with it. I haven't really had time to try uh, any demos or anything like that, see <clears throat> how all well any of that runs. I know some of that stuff, with the, even with 8 megs of fast RAM, the, the half mega chip RAM kind of is a limiting factor, but yeah, I'd be interested to try some stuff out so just thought I'd give a little update just to show that it's working now so I'm thrilled about that it's not bad uh, I don't know it wasn't even it was under 40 bucks so can't beat that for 8 megs of RAM for an Amiga so okay till next time